Hey guys, and welcome to an ARC tutorial on how to use the tech suit in ARC Genesis 2. So the tech suit that you start out with in ARC Genesis 2, or even if you unlock it in any of the other maps at the end of the game, right after you've defeated some bosses and you can craft your own tech suit, this is what you need to know in order to control the tech suit. You should obviously know that you can fly with the tech suit. Now there are two types of flying. There is a space bar fly and then there's a shift fly. Shift is more of a hover and you will literally stay the same height. You won't go up, you won't go down. And you can literally just hover over any other dinosaurs and you can actually tame them without actually getting in their range. You just stand here and you just shoot away. It's, it's actually one of the best things about a tech suit in Arc Genesis 2 right now. However, if you do want to fly, you just hold space bar and space bar will enable your jetpack to actually allow you to go higher up. You'll see the jetpack flame is a lot bigger than the hover flame and that's how you know you're flying. Now either when you're on the ground or you're using one of the jetpacks you can hold right click in to actually do a charged attack which is a punch. Right now I believe damage is disabled for Genesis 2. They took it off because it was a little too overpowered at the beginning. A really cool thing that you can do is when you charge a punch here and you actually open up your map while you're holding the space bar or the shift button you'll actually glitch the thing into you just flying forward with the map out. Like it's it's actually an interesting way to fly forward. It works really well for some instances but um, you can also adjust do a proper like Superman fly, which I'm going to teach you in a second. You'll also like to know that we do not take any fall damage when you fall from no matter how high, you will just land on your feet like normal, which is great. Now, whether you're on the ground or in the air, you can double tap spacebar every few seconds to actually get this like uh, special boost that will just yoink you upwards and kind of just give you a little speed increase. I don't know if it's hugely like beneficial, but it's there if you need it. Another thing is when you're using spacebar and control, you can actually fly forward and kind of go into this like sonic mode and you basically actually hold your fist out in front of you like your Superman, which is actually pretty cool. You look like this. It's really fun. It's interesting. It's probably the fastest way to travel around uh, the, the map using this method over here. Here, and there is a few little tricks to this as well. Now the main trick is when you're in here and you let go spacebar but you hold control you will still go at a speed like this like you will be falling down but you won't be um, like you know using the jetpack so you kind of like go downwards. This works really well in the space biome the strip in the middle of the map uh, and it just kind of like helps a bit. If you're just using spacebar you just float but you can do this to actually go downwards but at the same speed. Something interesting is when you are flying like this, you can actually destroy trees and rocks if you fly through them. Now the same actually applies when you do the running. If you're on the ground and you hold control and you run, you literally run at the speed of light, which is crazy. And you can run through rocks and trees, uh, providable that they are breakable. And you can also damage any dinos that you run into as well. So it's a really cool system. One of the most overpowered things for Arc Genesis 2, or actually any map really, if you do have a tech suit, is you can fill your inventory beyond your carry weights. And I mean like a thousand times beyond. Like I I'm playing on a normal server here, a South African server, and I, I literally, I can carry like up to like 20,000 metal because uh, we have 500 in a stack, by the way. So I can carry like literally 20,000 metal, which is too heavy for me to move. But if you hold control and do that running thing, it will actually force you to walk, even though you actually can't walk or jump. And all you have to do is go to a ledge or something you can jump off and hit spacebar. And when you're flying, the carry weight doesn't work anymore. As long as you're flying, you can literally you know, just, just ignore the carry weight like limit. So it's actually great to take like an Anki somewhere, mine hundreds of millions of materials and then drop them all on the floor, pick them up with your character and then you can literally just, um, you know, jump off a ledge and start flying to wherever you need to take all of these materials, which is really overpowered actually. It's actually great. Something you'd also like to know is that you can breathe underwater with the tech suit and you can also use the space bar, the, spa the like the jetpack in the water to swim really quickly underwater. That's awesome. And lastly, the tech helmet has a ability. When you hold R, you can toggle the helmet visor and you're literally looking at everything through the inside of the helmet, which is pretty interesting. I, I thought it would be like this by default. And you can actually use R and cycle the different things to get like different kinds of, um, you know, visions. I believe this one is night vision. This one here will actually make enemies or enemy dinos like like flesh in, in white so that you can spot like you know enemies or other dinosaurs a lot easier you can see those parasols there are lighting up and like in white every time it like you know flashes over them and then the final one uh, will just cycle it off until you're actually not wearing the the helmet anymore and that is everything you need to know about the tech suit if you feel like i've left anything out or you want to add a tip for anything that i talked about in this video please leave them down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in a future video thank you so much for watching